Hi on Wellex Lives. I think it's time to play a little Starfield. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent. Thanks, Vasco. Um Alright, so we gotta turn in or uh we gotta let them know what's going on here at the uh UC. I bet operations on the key are clown. Sis Def. Yo back. So how did it go? No, he didn't expect me to come back. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Yeah. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Do I believe it's real? I think so. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. You can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow What's the point? I'm going to be there doing it. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. And for some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. Both dismissed. Why why do all these people think I'm gonna kill people? I haven't killed anybody <laughs> during this whole thing for these people. Not one person. Have I? No, I don't think so. What is up with that? Not, not why haven't I killed people? But why do they think that I'm gonna kill people? It's like the, it's like the Rujin, right? They're always like, oh, you gotta keep it quiet. Uh, one time, one time the game glitched and their guards attacked me for some reason. And that was it. That was it. All right, there was some saves coming to get through the Rujin quest, but you know. Look, I can't get through there. Can't get there from here. Uh, let's check out... If I picked up anything useful for my research here. Um... There's no, no, I have not picked up any Euterbium or, what was the other one I was missing? Europium. He 
You'd think that they would know that I'm flying out places. All right, where's this, um... Oh, here we go. I was like, are we going or what? I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. Is my ship just going to say stuck to the side of this thing while they're flying through space? I can't imagine they would want that, right? Okay. What is this place? I don't quite understand what I just landed on. What am I on? What is this? I thought I was going to a cruise liner. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. Oh, this is the... Guy He's sneaking trying to get me in. Gato's attention for oh, I don't know, three years now, and what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Dave and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So you <laughs> this message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Don't play games with me. We both know pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. We're supposed to be working together on every part of this. So, you're gonna tell me what else you're here for or not? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. <laughs> Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. I don't... Fine. These people Fine. are insane. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get no one, First, no one at any point in the discussions I've had guy. talked about cutting this guy out. Why, are you Why would he think that we are going to cut him out? Not exactly your average crimson. The only difference is that I'm here instead of Neva. Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Yeah, you're not going to know what Delgado's plan is. Well, you're you not part of that. Well, turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. 
Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Tehran. He won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're going to have to attend the gala. Talk to his fellow philanthropists and dig up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card. I actually did bring my suit. To starve you both. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his. Dirty secrets. He's a VIP executive, which means he either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder. From what I've heard, it's the second option. Well, you better learn quick. Oh, there's one. Which one of these options gets me out of this conversation? Biden <laughs> equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship. No one's killing anyone. Hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the cafes. They're frozen, not fresh. We're actually on the cruise ship. This is crazy to me. Okay. Um... Oh, we have a point to spend. I'm mean, doing a lot of persuasion here. I feel like, so I'm going to bump a point into that. I want to mix in. Look like I belong. Well, I feel like this isn't the suit that I had. I must have left my suit on my ship. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously. We've got two. Does... What is going on here? Oh, okay. Captain Lothrop is one of the most easygoing COs I've ever worked with. Why is one of my options to kill this guy? I thought I was just supposed to get his stuff. I don't need to kill him. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings as I go first to sleep. You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Welcome aboard. Okay, that's the ballroom. This is one of Trident's top of the line vessels. There's nothing. Yes. Breath. This is all crew. Where's the Trident must have spent a fortune equipping the ship with triple redundancy? Where's the stairway up? Part of my job is getting to crack all of the leftovers from her dining area buffets. That's down. I don't want to go down. Captain Rokov said you're allowed in any of the cruise facilities. Just don't tell 
Yeah, I'm not touching anything. I'm just uh, trying to figure out where the, the airway up is. It must just be above me. I don't know. We'll head into this ballroom here. See what people say. This is not a ballroom. This is what I was expecting. So, what brings you aboard? I've done this particular cruise run several times, and I can assure you that the route is quite safe. Oh, there's my guy. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I don't like those guards are just standing there. I I kind of wanted to uh, see if I could pickpocket him, but. Trident's gouging us for every credit. Yeah, you okay. Mind moving along. I'm trying to enjoy the celebration. Okay. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events. Have you tried the Star canopies? Night. Horrid. Positively horrid. I'm a silver <laughs> member of the society, but only a hundred thousand more credits, and I hit the gold tier. Cool. Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Can you imagine the security nightmare I'd have to deal with? No, thank you. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. That's all then? Okay. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Here for business? A pleasure. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the Society, eh? Hello. Pleased Are to make your you a member of the Society? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Enjoy the rest of the event. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the Society, eh? <laughs> so, what brings you aboard? These people always turn and not Larry look at me. He likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Well, apparently the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I keep mine on my desk. I've been to the Earth. <laughs> well, that was boring. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard the Starliner. Hello. Are you a member of the Society? The Society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S.A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. All I know is that the award is given to whomever contributed the most to the preservation of Earth as a historic landmark. Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, <laughs> anyone would miss him. All right, all right. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. The society is such a worthy cause. What could be more important than the preservation of the Earth spirit? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee this year. The way she totes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Mm. 
Yes, he's some kind of top dog over at Galbeck. I heard you replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Nice to have met you. The society chair has that really outdone is himself this time. I don't remember I asked this guy. It's critical that the society keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I'm doing my part by attending this spectacular event. I already told you what I know. Okay. Well, I just remember I talked to somebody and I didn't ask him all the questions, all right? Here for business or pleasure? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. Claudia Swist. And his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. <sighs> is this about that feature SSNN ran a few years ago? I can assure you, this is a legitimate charity organization. Enjoy the rest of the event. All right. It would have been nice, but Trident's couch does not have any credit. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Quite a lovely star lineup. Nothing but the best in sight. Here for business? If you have pleasure. any needs, please enter. I do. I, I don't know where Don't Sheila or. Oh, they're up here somewhere. I haven't figured out. Oh, here we go. Because I haven't figured out how to get to the next floor. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing <laughs> for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? In my cavern. Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Claudia Swift is a low-level employee of Gold Bank, barely holds a decent security rating there, so there's not much to tell. Her cabin was paid for by Dombrowski, and she's been hovering near him ever since they boarded the Siren. Normally that wouldn't raise any eyebrows, but the fact that Dombrowski's married to someone else that changes people's perception just a does bit. it i mean this is what i expect on one of these trips I don't know. um all right go to something useful okay i don't know why he was standing there i thought he was going to help Um, I apparently went up too high. I need... Okay, those are people. If you have any little ones aboard, story time with Serena. We'll be held in the ship's library this evening. Good to know. 
We have a range of excursions available at all of our destinations. All the details are in your cabin. Okay, so this must be somebody's cabin. They're cleaning. Um, Alright, let's get back down to floor here and we'll see. Board. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Oh, absolutely. The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage resistant vacuum proof plating. In the unlikely event our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered, the safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event this ship is destroyed, we can assure you that your <laughs> loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. There's no way they're going to let me peek at the Earth Savior Ward, right? Uh, An excellent question. I need to store something in My there. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, customs, and commercial goods transfers. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. I get to meet people at every port of call instead of being constantly stuck below decks. I've only seen it briefly myself. But I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Okay, so I need the appropriate claim ID. <laughs> I was wondering if I could sneak in close enough to hack her computer. Uh, alright, so I've got to get the appropriate claim ID. Alright, let's go talk to, um, what's-her-face over here. Do I know you? I'm over here. Okay, wait. Are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. <laughs> Who? Look, can you just cut to the chase already? What's this about? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you... <sighs> that idiot. <laughs> I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it going to take to make us both happy? Uh, 
Um. Zooming up his radar. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? That's true. You have come this far already. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. That's true. For once, I would like to see him squirm. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. All right. You've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. Oh, He's I done saw him earlier. Over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. I did see him earlier. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I actually don't care about Dombrowski. Uh, I just need his credentials. To access a database. That's it. That's all I need. I just need to access a database. And now I need the claim ID off of, uh... Any complaints about your crew should be directed to one of the staff. Her. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Just bash the arm on my microphone there. Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest and cutting-edge security. I am completely confident that Trident Luxury Lines will keep all of us safe. Okay, this seems dumb, but I'm going to click on it. Excuse me? <laughs> and why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? How's this, I agree. How's this even going to work? Uh... I, I mean... Why? Okay. Why would it be okay? I don't understand. Maybe so. I'd like to help you. I I really would. Okay, that extra point I put into persuasion is really working hard. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, just take the damn thing already. <laughs> Why? Listen. Maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. That's insane. Why did that just happen? She just handed me her claim. Oh, it's not upstairs. I did that once already. Why would she do that? I I have no idea.
Oh, I was gonna close the doors. Okay, well that was way easier than I expected. I thought maybe she would like move around and I'd have to like pick her pocket or something. Get her a few drinks. I don't know. Something. Not just go, hey, give me your ID. So, what brings you aboard? I certainly hope they decide to hold all future Hi, buddy. You here for the charity event? Well, I work for UC Security, meaning that business isn't exactly my area of expertise. I work for UC Security. I'm afraid I can't really help you. If you're looking for a business opportunity, you might want to check with someone else. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Just in case you weren't aware, <laughs> I am the authority. I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? I mean... I told you to stay out of my way. I, meant to I work for UC Sysdef. I don't know why that wasn't an option. I should have I should have been able to push my authority over him. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Oh, absolutely. He's up the ladder at UC Security. Lots of pull. We have to handle this very delicate. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. You manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sandeep gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, What's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? <laughs> hey, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown mode. seems excessive for what I need to do. Uh, I'm just after that dude's credentials, man. Can't I just wait till he goes back to his room? Does he have him on him?
Pleased to make your acquaintance. It's a weird one. This is a weird quest. Off limits to passengers. Wait a second. Your Captain Rock calls guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exception. No exceptions, he says. Hey, if your heart's set on it, we might just stop you from <laughs> staring at a bunch of life support machinery. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job. All right, man. How we proceed to their cabins? How is this any different than making him wait for him to go to sleep? Okay. So there's three of them. Put my suit back on. Just in case things go real bad. The captain has declared a ship wide emergency. Also, am I bleeding? I have an incoming weather warning. What? Um Do I have something for orange blood drop? I don't think that's a thing. I need to pick up some bandages and stuff, it looks like. <laughs> Easy enough. Oh, I should have broken here earlier. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. Of course I am. It's time you stop playing games. 
and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! <laughs> that means my money's already gone. And the Rust is going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fly. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself. I'm sorry. 2,500 credits? <laughs> and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't know anything about your undercover work, if that's what you're trying to imply. All I can tell you is that there's more than a few people at mass who find Commander Akande to be a huge pain in the ass. I mean, the UC is aware that the Crimson Fleet is a problem, but it pales in comparison to the issues with the Free Star Collective. Ikande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly, it's driving my superiors crazy. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. <laughs> Uh, where's the... I'm sure it is too. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. All passengers, may I have your attention please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instruction. Well... You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. How do you know that? I'm Did they call you? what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. True. Excellent. Excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First... It's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. I, nobody cares about the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor. True. Hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet... This leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. I see. And that certainly <laughs> places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms... You have compromising materials about me in your possession. Yep. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. Yep. All I assume that's what you've been angling for all along. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Quite a shame that you need to resort to blackmail to arrive at the point of equity in our discussion. However, I will acquiesce to your addendum. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. <laughs> oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Nice. Okay.
you all have fun with your revenge on each other. And, um... What was that thing called? I wanted to look at it. This. Oh, it's in a case. Oh. This ship is in a state of emergency. Nobody cares. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. True. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I fixed him to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, uh, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with a fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping you from rejoining me now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on it. <laughs> always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the team. All right. Um Our security team would appreciate if you please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you would, but I'm uh, I'm in the middle of leaving. Thanks. Wait, you want me to go here? I'm leaving, right? Yeah. Why can't I go back out the way I came? Where'd all the crew go? All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Oh, that's their cockpit. I need to get to my cockpit. <laughs> there. Nope. Dude, I know there's stairs down here somewhere. There's the crew. Here's the stairs. I need to pack up and get out of here. What is it now? How'd you get here? Here's Vasco. Come on, Vasco. We got things to do. Okay. <laughs> this is where I turn and blow the whole thing up. <laughs> what was that? The UC Vigilance. There's a lot of stuff going on there in Olympus. Oops. I done jumped out too far. Uh, I want to come over here. Alpha Centauri. Jimison.
Head to New Atlantis. Now we gotta break into Gal Civ. Dude, I had a I had a bounty on me for the longest time and you guys didn't do anything about it, so I don't care about your scans. Yeah, I could have just gone straight to the commercial district. I don't know why they had me come to uh, the landing bay. Okay, well, I don't want to tell you my stories. What? So we can figure out where Galsip is here. Oh, I need to make sure to hit the trade authority and whatnot uh, as well before I leave. See if they've got the materials I'm missing for my research. Ooh. Woof, I really I really broke in. Woo. Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. <laughs> Cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. I didn't realize that was a door as I walked up to it. I, I don't know why. I thought it was just open. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on in here? Great. I'm running around with my gun unloaded. Ooh. That guy's level 52. That might be the highest level guy I've seen in the game. Dang, he does not care about my sniper rifle. His armor is something else, man. Okay, that time I shot a pillar. Yeah, I thought there's another one. Where are you? I got one ecliptic still hanging out here somewhere. I don't I don't even like that kind of weapon. Where are you? There you are. I 
I can't... That dude totally letting the ecliptic in here. That's crazy. That's going to be linked to Dombrowski. <laughs> Ugh, I need a better jump pack. I mean, the one I got has amazing secondaries, but man. I need better uh, boost capabilities. Bannock 4. Eight failed search attempts. One lost around Saturn, too. Oh, that guy's gone. Why is the ecliptic hitting the Galsiv archive? Curious. All right, let's head back to um, let's head back to the landing area so I can jump down to um, the trade authority and then uh, hit the UC depot as well and see if they've got the materials I need for my Upgrades. Um. Yeah, here's the depot. Oh, that's the security office. Shoot. Did I go the wrong place? Uh, oh, we can check the mercantile here, too. I don't remember what you guys sell. There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on display. Oh, please, take a look. Get some more bandages and stuff. Oh, dude, look at all this adhesive. Mine.
Uh, I know I need titanium. Titanium. I gotta have enough toxins at this point for what I was working on. Ah, here's some euterbium. Awesome. Some zero wire. Appreciate the business. Okay, and then... Where's the... Around here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pop down here to the well. And the trade authority... Uh, it's real close, right? Yeah, yeah, right here. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to If there's something you need, be my guest. All right. Uh, aid. What do you got? Yep. Bandages. Heal gel, heal paste, immobilizer. Nice. Uh, we'll take this Neurojack. Take this Panacea. Penicillin. Oops, I think I just bought something else. Some snake oil. Synapse Alpha. Trauma packs. Zipper bandages. And then... Ugh, no, no adhesive here. Dude, you don't really have much of anything, honestly. Pleasure dealing with you. Okay, I've I've bought so many resources now that I'm uh overweight. Uh I'm walking and my stamina is going down. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make it to the UC. Uh, I might. I might. Let me check my ship. <laughs> and then um, we'll see if I have enough supplies now. I don't think I have enough euterbium. Not that the UC is guaranteed to have the euterbium. I thought the UC was here. Let me jump over to the Mercantile District, actually, while I'm this close. The Commercial District. That's never a good sign. Is it this building right here? Actually, yeah, okay. I just picked the wrong building. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Yes, of course. Please, take a look. <laughs> Why does she seem so nervous? Uh, I'll take your Synapse Alphas. I'll never remember to use that. Uh, yes, give me your adhesives. And I'm mostly worried about... Ooh, what was that? Oh, yeah, model propellant. Uh, I'm mostly worried about... Ooh, platinum. Tantalum. Oh, I didn't see that on the 
Another one. There's titanium. Oh, no euterbium here, though. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Yo, euterbium seems to be uh, rare. Okay. Um... Now we'll do the... We'll do the slow walk back to my ship. Hoping that I can keep enough oxygen going. To make it to my ship. <laughs> we'll have to wait for it to rebuild. I don't know why I came around this way, because my ship is over there. Nobody ran. Nobody ran, okay? Captain, greetings. Hey, Vasco. Okay. Then we can hit the research real quick, see if I've got enough stuff to tip that over, and then maybe upgrade my guns. Dude, I can't believe that level 50, uh, level 52 guy. Yeah, my guns weren't... Okay. Somewhere in here is... Oh. My guns were not hitting him very hard. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't get any europium. I didn't get any europium. Uh, also, I want to make sure to take my... Neurojack and my... Uh, And my Synapse Alpha here. Also, why am I carrying ship parts? Oh, I've only got seven. Oh, they didn't give me any bonuses either. No europium, none of euterbium. Dang it. Uh, special projects. Special projects, yep. I gotta get... I gotta get point into special projects yet. Uh, let's see. Nothing unlocked here. I don't really do the food and drink stuff. Uh, nothing unlocked here. And nothing unlocked here. Gotta get spacesuit design. Alright, well. Uh, I guess. This is where I'm gonna call it for today. Vasco, why are you standing in the doorway? What's wrong with your brain? Where did I see those ship parts in here? Ship parts. Get out of my inventory. Resources. I don't 
think I should be. Oh yeah, look, I'm down to 104 out of 165. All right, uh, and then we can continue our hunt for the legacy next time. Be brand the small things, lean to the light. I'll talk to you later.